It's Jordan from the Mulligan Brewers, and today's interview highlight is with Master Shi Heng Yi of the Shaolin Temple Europe. If you've been enjoying the Shi Heng Yi content, please consider becoming a YouTube member with this join button right here, and you can become a producer of the show, or go to mulliganbrothers.com to purchase the Inspire Change t-shirt, and that helps support these projects. Let's jump into the highlight. We eight billion people, we know what we want, but we are not uh, able to easily achieve it. So we don't have the pleasant life that we want. Why? Because the methods and the approach maybe is wrong. Because the approach in order to get to this pleasantness is wrong. Now, pleasantness in a way, now I would say, is something very, very much related to how you feel on the one side about waking up. How do you feel during the day? But also, what are you carrying on the mind during the average day when you are walking through this lifetime? What do you have on the mind and what do you have in terms, how do you feel? Those two things is ultimately what is making your life quality at the moment. Yeah, so even somebody gives you a present, yeah, he gives you, I don't know, the new Tesla, just as a present, but this day you just felt like, yeah, you don't feel, you just feel bad. You feel bad, your mood is not good. It doesn't matter what present you get. It's, it's irrelevant for you. Yeah? But sometimes just a very, very small thing somebody gives you, maybe sometimes even just a word or just a look, and, and you feel that that was a different one. So an easy way, how, how do you know that you had a good day or how do you know you had like a bad day? Good days, I think, you want more of them. You would like in the future more days repeat and have this type of quality like you had uh, today. And bad days, you say, no, hopefully this was the last one in this lifetime that I definitely don't need anymore. So it's about with what thought and with what feeling are you walking through this lifetime. And now, because many people now hear that word thought coming from thinking, I can also think when I just sit around like this. Yeah, and this is the problem. Yes, we want to get to the thinking. We want to get to the thought. We want to get to the feeling. But thought and feeling is something like very fine. In order to get to what is very, very fine, we make the opposite. We want to get to the thought and the feeling. We deal with the body. We do stuff with the body. Because the thought and the feeling, they can take place while you are just sitting around. That's why you don't sit around. <laughs> That's why we do the activities known from the Shaolin Temple. Because only this physical aspect of yourself together with those non-physical aspects like the thinking, like the feeling. This together is giving you the full range of possibility to adjust something. Yeah? Which means, yes, you want freedom of the mind, but in order to get freedom of the mind, our approach, let's say, for example, is you are dealing with the restriction of yourself. If, you, if your goal is to find freedom of the mind and you directly try to approach it by behaving like you are free, by talking like you would be free, this is the wrong way. So what I mean by that is, uh, we are in the 21st century, everybody thinks he's like in a in the free world and he is able to speak out freely what he thinks and to behave freely. Yeah, but it's the same, like I mentioned again. If you are in a partnership and then you go out somewhere on the beach and you see other beautiful people there, yeah, a free person now would say, yeah, I'm a free person, I can cheat around how I want. 
But this type of freedom is not the one that we talk about. Because this type of freedom, you think you are free, so you behave free. No. This is going to bring out the destructive elements of the human. The freedom that we talk about is, you, it's the freedom that you do not need to listen to what the mind is telling you. The freedom of that you are taking your own decisions and that you are able also to restrict yourself. So it's very paradox. On the one word I'm, I'm saying it's about freedom, but this freedom goes hand in hand with your ability to restrict yourself. And this is what you see here with the guys in the monastery. As long as they stay inside this monastery, they have a lot of rules and a lot of things are forbidden, let's say. Many people cannot handle this. They have difficulties handling it sometimes. Nevertheless, I know the day will come where just three years have passed. And when they look back, they realize three years long, how could I even imagine to live such a way full of restrictions? And then they realize that because they stayed in all of these dis restrictions, now suddenly it's gone. Yeah, now even if you tell them, hey, you're not to eat because it's not eating time, for them it's okay. Yeah, then you say, hey, look, today is no party time, you just cannot go out, we have other things to do. It's okay. Yeah? Or you cannot meet your friend today. It's okay. And with this type of ability that you can handle quite a lot of things, with this type of ability, now you can go out in the world. Because now <laughs> nothing simply brings you out of balance so quickly anymore. Why? Because you have stopped outsourcing. You have disciplined your mind. You have taken your own responsibility into your hands. That the life quality, the way how you are perceiving this lifetime, it's up to you. It's up to your practice. It's not to wait until the outside circumstances and your government and this world is going to create your dream world. It's not going to happen. Hmm? It's about how can you contribute? How can you as an individual contribute to bring out this world that you imagine how it should be? And this is how I see, for example, why I'm doing this type of work. I am trying to share out what I think is missing. And this is just for my part. I think this is missing. I want to see it more in the world, in my dream world. That's why I contribute to make this dream world now start to manifest a little bit. And this is uh, how I think, at least for me, is quite a fulfilling way because I don't think, I don't wake up and like have the feeling I'm wasting my lifetime. Because this probably would be like one thing. Sometimes I think uh, when I <laughs> look into the future, one of the worst things that could ever happen is that you one time just wake up, you yeah, are old already, look back at your lifetime and then you start regretting that you uh, didn't do something with your life. This is really something that I don't want to be in. That's why right now I'm already very careful in what do I invest my lifetime. If it's not important to me, then uh, I don't do it. If I think it is something that gives me additional value, then I do it. There you go, some amazing wisdom and messages again from Master Shi Heng Yi. 
If you've been enjoying the Shi Heng Yi content, please consider becoming a YouTube member. We took the whole team all the way to Germany, to the Shaolin Temple. We drove all the way there uh, with all our cameras, all our gear to go shoot all the content that we've been dropping recently. There is a lot more content to come. So please also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, consider becoming a YouTube member with the join button right there where you can become a producer of this show that helps support us and makes it possible to be able to inspire change. And also the sponsor of the video today is mulliganbrothers.com where you can buy the Inspire Change t-shirt, Hardest Worker in the Room t-shirt, the LLFG t-shirts are now available and the hoodies will be dropping soon as well. So please head over to there um, and tag us in the Instagram if you want to show us your support. Um, at Jordan Mulligan Brother, at William Mulligan Brother, at Luke Mulligan Brother, at Need Mulligan X, and at Mulligan Brothers. And we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.